S90? S95? Which one is it? Hey guys, how's it going? Justin here from Waltz, and today I finally got my hands on the Samsung S90C, which is their new 2023 QD OLED. They still have one above, which is the S95, but we're looking at the 90, which is pretty similar to last year's S95. So we do have a lot to cover. We're gonna break the video into four parts, picture quality, features and design, audio, and of course, my personal thoughts. So without further ado, let's jump right into the picture quality. Now the S90C has a native resolution of 4K, which is 8.3 million pixels, but these are OLED pixels, which means each one of them can turn itself on and off and change color. This one, however, it's QD, quantum dot OLED, so it's gonna work a little bit different than the standard OLED that we're used to. The simplest way that I can describe the difference is that with regular OLED, you have red, green, white, blue, and in QD OLED, you just have blue that filters through red and green quantum dots, so you don't have that white there, which also allows for it to get a little brighter than we're used to seeing with OLED. So you're still getting that super amazing and sharp contrast and color that you get out of an OLED, but also the brightness that you might see in a mini LED. So it's really the best of both worlds. Now there isn't any Dolby Vision on this particular set, but it does have HDR10 Plus and HDR Quantum, which in my opinion is pretty much the same thing. It all looks great and you can definitely tell when it's enabled. Now it also has a neural quantum processor, which is gonna help upscale all of the footage that you're watching to 4K if it's not already in there. Also, it'll just sharpen things up in general, but processing power is not the only important thing for the image. It's also important for some other things, which will lead us into our next part. Now we covered the S90C's processing power in terms of picture quality, but something else that it's really important is for the operating system. The operating system on this TV is Tizen's 7.0, which I personally like the layout and the way it feels a lot better than last year's version. Um, I think is uh, definitely they took some things into consideration when redesigning it. It's gonna help you run the operating system a lot smoother, having that extra processing power. And this comes to things like typing in passwords, switching between inputs. Sometimes it can be laggy on older or cheaper sets as to where you get to something high quality like this premium OLED having that extra processing power for the picture also means it's gonna run faster in general. So something I can really appreciate that less lag when using the TV. Now the S90C and a lot of the other models in the lineup are gonna come with a new version of their solar QLED remote. And if you're not familiar with the solar QLED remote, essentially this remote will never need batteries nor does it have batteries, but it charges through a solar cell. So it takes all of the light in your room and the frequencies, the signals, everything that you can't see, and it actually charges the remote as long as it's faced up. And if for some crazy reason it were to die on you, which it probably won't, it's supposed to last over two years on a single charge, you can plug it in USB-C on the bottom. Now, what about connections? Well, I think you'll be pleased to know that the S90C has four HDMI 2.1 ports. That's right, all the ports on this TV are HDMI 2.1, which is super awesome because that means you can plug your soundbar for ARC or your gaming system in any port and it's gonna work the same. You don't have to find that specific port, which can be a pain in the butt if your TV is already mounted on the wall. Even if it's not, just reaching around there, you don't wanna do it if you don't have to. So I thought that was awesome that they added four of those. And I think, you know, we kind of expect that from premium TVs in this price range. Also, if you pair this TV with a Q level soundbar, which is the Q600, Q800, any of those guys are awesome. If you pair it with one of those, you'll get access to a feature called Q Symphony, which basically allows you to control your audio between your TV and your soundbar and use them together in synchrony. Synchrony funny how that works but yeah that's that's what the whole feature there is we made a video on it if you wanted to look a little bit deeper into it but yeah it's easy to use and you know the fact that you get extra sound by not just plugging in your soundbar but getting it out of the tv too i thought that was pretty cool now what sets this tv apart from last year's s95b is the fact that it can do 4k 144 
hertz, which is awesome, especially for the gamers, but just general people who like to watch sports and things where motion is moving a lot. It looks very smooth, and when I was personally testing it out with the gaming, I thought it was super, you know, outside of the super awesome image, I thought it was super smooth, and I just really liked in gaming on this TV. This was a PS5, so we did have, you know, a good setup there and we made sure to secure it with a quality HDMI cable that's capable of giving us the maximum amount of quality we can get which is our AudioQuest Cinnamon cable. If you haven't seen our video on AudioQuest you should definitely go check it out and that'll give you kind of an idea of where you should be looking for AudioQuest. Because let's be honest if you have a TV this nice and you're connecting a source to it you want to make sure you're getting every ounce of that data and you're not losing out on color contrast or anything else. Samsung's new QLEDs come with a new feature that came out last year and that's going to be their game hub which is an internal gaming system that you can connect a bluetooth controller to and play games like you have an xbox but you don't and the way this works is it is cloud streaming so you're not going to get 120 hertz because it's running directly off the TV and not a dedicated console. But if you're just a casual gamer and you want to buy the Xbox Game Pass and play games from your TV without having to buy a $500 console, this is awesome. It's a great way to entertain your kids or just take a break from you know your desktop PC if you're a PC gamer. Oh, and as far as the stand goes, it's going to come with two slide-in feet that are fairly easy to get in there. And then once you get it in there and you get it on the stand, you put this plate cover over it to make it look nice. And this is the similar stand that we've seen in other models. I think the reason they went with the feet here is that it was extremely, extremely heavy. And um, now that they broke it up into two feet and then had a base cover, it's not going to be nearly as heavy. Oh, and if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Bezels. Can't forget about the bezels. Super thin bezels on the screen, but also just the TV in general. Since it's an OLED, it's very, very thin. And I think design-wise, with that in the stand, this TV looks amazing. Oh, and if you are planning on connecting a soundbar, you do have 2.6 inches of clearance if it's on the stand. If it's not on the stand, it's mounted on the wall, then you don't really have to worry about it. Soundbars are a very important thing to consider. So that leads us into our next part. Now, when it comes to audio, I'm going to be honest, this TV does not have amazing audio out of the box, and it's not meant to. It's an OLED. It's extremely thin. They're focusing on picture quality here, but that's why you need to pair it with a soundbar, specifically one of Samsung's Q-level soundbars will give you that Q-Symphony feature that we talked about earlier, or if you already have one laying around, great. You definitely are going to need it, though. And also... I would say sound is 50% of the experience, if not more. Don't believe me? I'm going to play this clip for you of high quality video with low quality audio and then a clip of low quality video with high quality audio and you tell me which one is more tolerable. So this is an example of amazing video quality with terrible audio quality. Let's switch and see what sounds better. Now our video quality has decreased, but our audio quality has gone through the roof, major improvements. What do you guys think? So yeah, something you wouldn't think about, but it's pretty annoying to have crappy audio. And you know, if you're not hooking this up to a soundbar, you might be missing out on a lot of stuff that you normally would want to hear, especially if you're only going to be watching, you know, that movie this one time on your one TV. You just want to make sure that you're having the best overall experience. I'll leave some links down in the description of some soundbars that I like and also some of those cables I was talking about. So what are some of my thoughts on the S90C? Well, first, I really like the design as it is very similar to the S95B from last year. They didn't really change a whole lot here, but I think it's important to make notice of the changes that did happen, like the 144 hertz refresh rate. It just allows, even though your console can't produce 144 and it's only 120, it just allows to have that extra room and just continue to be smooth. Also, I do really like the fact that it has four HDMI 2.1 ports not having to dig around in the back of your TV to make sure you're in the right port can definitely save you some time and just peace of mind. And the last thing that you know I personally appreciate is the processing power, although a lot of people don't really consider this. I hate it when I'm trying to type in passwords or switch between apps and it doesn't it misses a few buttons or it just is slow. So having the premium quality TV like this 
come with the higher end processing just overall helps my experience. Now I'm going to leave some of the sizes up for this TV. It does come in 55, 65, 77, and 83, which is awesome to see the 83 inch come so early as Samsung did just release their QD OLEDs last year. So they're already bringing the big sizes and I think that's awesome. Now if you guys want to pick one of these up, I'm going to leave all the links down in the description. We really do appreciate your support. If you happen to be here in the Phoenix Tempe area, you should definitely come check out our retail store right next to the Ikea. Other than that, what do you guys think about the S90C? I want to see comments down there. How do you think it's going to compare to the other OLEDs from other brands? And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. If this is a product that you're interested, make sure to email me at YouTube at Waltz so I can get you a special YouTube discount. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos like these, and we'll see you in the next one.